is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. Let me give you the negative of all of this. Okay? Here's a guy playing for 17 years in this league. He has played in all kinds of teams, and he's never made the playoffs. And if Tua actually and company win on Sunday and they get into the playoffs, he will not be able to attend a game that he has worked his entire life to be at. Okay? You thought I was going to come up with something like disappointing for the Dolphins or the teams or the fans? No, I'm just talking about individually. I feel bad for Fitz. I do, you know, because he's earned the right to play a little bit in that playoff game. He's earned the right to be on that sideline coaching up Tua, bailing out Tua, bailing out his team. He's earned that right to be there. He's part of the reason why the Dolphins have 10 wins on the board. You know, the Dolphins have a lot to be grateful for to Ryan Fitzpatrick being a part of this team. And 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 Flo is, is the first guy to thank him and appreciate it for, the, for that. So let's not su- lose sight of that because we're kind of, you know, we're, we're doll fans and we want what's best for the team, obviously, because that's what it's all about. But, you know, have a little sympathy for the human being in Fitz who has worked his butt off to be in this position. And the sad part is... He may not be cleared and healthy enough to be with the Dolphins if they make the playoffs next week. So the game he was waiting to be a part of for the first time in his life, he won't even be able to take part. It's almost cruel. It, yeah. It's almost cruel, man. Yeah, yeah, the only thing- All your career, here it is, look what you did yep. last week, and to have it pulled from your um, – yep. dude. Uh, it's, uh, what an ending oh, oh, for this year for him. Man. Only thing worse is uh, is De'Ara King, who lost yeah. his dad, his mom had cancer, and now he blows out his knee. It's like, come on, please, dude. Can, ACL. Lord, can, can yeah, we, can I we, saw that a couple hours ago. Can we just can 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 De'Ara King get a break, please? I mean, you know, I mean, one person to go through all of that. And you know what? Two guys doing the right thing. Yeah. Like, De'Ara King. Wanting to be you and Fitz, coming back. Fitz two exceptional there, leaders, and, bro, two winners, two good that people. deserve any good thing that would come their way. Both and of, there both it guys. is. Right. Both and guys. And to be snatched from their clutches. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it's sad, man. It's sad. So, uh, so remember, while all of this is going on, and even if you're enjoying the moment, like I, 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 I hope we will be on Sunday, and I'll be doing the postgame show on Onside Radio, uh, while you're enjoying that moment and and the Dolphins beat the beat the Bills, remember what's going on with Fitz, man, because that's, you know, I, I was thinking about that on my drive here, that the poor man is not going to be able to enjoy everything that he's worked for because he's some, probably not going to be cleared by then. There's some a, cruel irony, bro. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's this, the, the 10 days will be right around during that game. So maybe if he has a few days of uh, of uh, negative, then he can sneak in there. But let's let let let's hope for that. You know, let's hope for the start of 2021 that the Dolphins make the playoffs, and let's hope Fitz can actually be a part of something that he has worked for his whole life, man. Because he uh, he certainly deserves it. Going into this week, you almost feel like you've lost your safety net, right? Right. Oh yeah. You're out there flying without a safety net, bro. Yep. 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 